All right, so the way that I'm going to show you to do this is probably the wrong way to do it, and I cannot recommend to anybody that you employ this practice in doing this. That being said, I'm going to do it this way, and if you want to do it this way, you can see how I did it here. For starters, make a vi visual note of the location of your rear sight in relation to the edges of your frame. On this particular one, it's a little bit closer to this side than it is to that side. That will be important when you go to drift the new sight into place. Okay, so we have our slide uh, secured with a paper towel there to prevent marks on it. No guarantees there. And we've got it fairly well secured in the jaws of our vise. It could potentially move. You don't want to crush the little side pieces of your slide rail doing this. It's better to have to readjust it and tighten it up a little later than to overdo it to begin with. That being said, they make a tool specifically for this application. You could pay anywhere from $80 to $100 for that tool. I will post a picture of one here and a link. And I encourage you to do it that way because that is the proper way to do it. That being said, uh, quite a few people do it this way. And I'm going to show you what I've done in the past several times that has worked well for me. I have an assortment of punches here. This one has a nice square face on it. So I'm going to attempt to use this one to drift the old plastic rear sight out of the dovetail. Now this plastic sight is considerably softer than the new one and will be easier to remove. In fact, uh, we just about got it. I'm laying the, the punch about as flat as I can in the dovetail and just giving firm but light taps to work the old side out. Here you can see some little spring steel pieces underneath the plastic that help to hold that securely in place on the pistol. Again, our new rear sight is made of steel. It is considerably harder. Now, many people will tell you that if you bang on this where these little vials are, you could rupture one and ruin your night sights. I've never done that. I'm confident that it could happen. So, uh, that being said, they're mounted on top of a slide that violently slams back and forth under recoil. So, so long as you don't go crazy beating on this thing, you shouldn't have any problems. I have never had a problem with this. So moving in the same direction that I went before, I'll get my sight started. I'm going to take this little, little bitty ball peen hammer and just give it light taps to get it started. I can feel the resistance is growing, but it's still quite manageable. And I can hear a couple of you already saying, well, Jay, what about the finish on your firearm? I'm sorry I don't care about that so much. Uh, this gun in particular, as well as many of my others, are tools. Tools get used. I'm not going to baby it for the sake of trying not to mark it. Now, with a punch like this one, if you tried hard enough, I'm sure you could achieve some pretty nasty marks on there.
All right, so we got it in there. It wasn't too terrible. And it appears to be just about centered. We're actually going to bring it back just a little bit. because that's how the rear sight was that's how the rear sight was that was on there before and it shot pretty well centered so we'll leave it like that for now we may need to make an adjustment after taking it to the range but we got it installed and for those of you that are worried about it We did it with minimal, if any, damage to our rear sight. There's a little tiny scuff right there. That I'm not the least bit worried about. If you use a punch like this one, that has a nail head on it, then you'll wind up leaving what look like little roll marks on there, a little worse than what that other one did. But. I've actually left marks on sight blades like this before using a proper tool to install them. So stuff like that doesn't bother me. If it doesn't bother you, you might consider doing it this way. But again, I make no claims that this is the best way to do this. It's just a means to an end. So until next time, take care. God bless.